I'm Christine Nishiyama, and I'm an illustrator at Mike Kid Studios. I went to school for graphic design, and then I worked as a designer for a few years in a studio, and then freelanced as a designer for a little while, and then since then I've been transitioning into illustration, making my own books and comics. But I've been illustrating, like, drawing since I was, like, I don't know, a little kid. <laughs> So I enjoyed the creativity of graphic design, but I wanted to transition into illustration because I felt like I wasn't able to like express myself as much with design. I was more having to express what other people wanted, and so I really wanted to be able to communicate my ideas and my stories. Um, and so slowly like I weaned off of graphic design clients and started taking on illustration clients, editorial work. And then since then I've been weaning off of editorial work and onto more just like purely my own stories and my own ideas. I think when you're little you think that, oh I want to make like a colorful illustration so you grab like every marker in the box or every crayon in the box and you make this illustration and it's like this huge rainbow and all the colors but then you look at it and it's kind of like muddled. And so I really work with only limited color palettes. I'll choose like two or three colors for each thing that I do and just stick with those two or three hues. And like, you can layer them to have more values, but if you stick with those few, I feel like that gives me a strong style and a strong color palette. A big part of every day for me is just sitting down and drawing something without a plan. Uh, so many of my projects are very thought involved and planned from the beginning and so it's good to have kind of an exploration period in each day where you're not thinking too much about what you're drawing. And so during those times I'll, I'll just sit down and open up my notebook to a blank page and don't even think like what am I going to draw, I just put the pencil down and like start going and something always somehow comes out. I think if you have the passion and the interest that's really important but you also have to have the grit to do all the other things that you don't want to do to be able to do the thing that you do want to do.